This is Thursday Inspiration. Let's talk about success habits. Welcome guys to The Inspiring Talk. My name is Vijay Gautam. I'm host for this show. Each week I interview today's most successful and inspiring personalities to help you realize your inner potential. Welcome guys to this solo episode of The Inspiring Talk podcast. You can check the past interviews with most successful and inspiring personalities such as the very recent one with serial entrepreneur Avelo Roe by visiting the website theinspiringtalk.com. And as always I will be coming out with amazing guest coming Monday. If you don't want to miss these episodes from me, make sure to subscribe this podcast. on your iPhone or Android by downloading Castbox app which is the most popular app for listening podcast you can even get 6 months of free trial of premium version if you use my coupon code TIT which is the short form of the inspiring talk and the name of app is Castbox so in this episode i want to talk about three most common habits of successful people who has been guest on my show in the past I am very very keen in deconstructing these people and understand how those tiny little daily habits has helped them in achieving bigger success over a period of time. Um one of the top habits I can't stop talking about is meditation. It has helped me personally in becoming more conscious, make uh, better decisions and staying more positive throughout the day since I have started meditation this year. I was not a very very regular in doing this though I had it on my mind for a very very long time. After having conversation with Chitra Jha for this podcast I started doing this on a regular basis and I have felt that I am more conscious about my thoughts and actions and I also found myself becoming less reactive to the external situations or actions. Um I I use this app called Stop, Breathe and Think which has got a variety of sessions inside it and many of them are available for free. But the practice I follow the most are a uh, body scanning where I walk my mind from top to the bottom of my body and another is simple breathing exercise for anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes. that fits my morning schedule pretty well and i also sometimes love doing quick 5 to 7 uh, minutes long sessions just before going to bed and they could be either gratitude or compassion practice so that i won't take any kind of negative thoughts with me on my sleep and regarding how long you should be meditating here's a clip from an episode of chitra jha who have shared with me a lot of insights about meditation and is also an author of the book art and science of meditation so this might not be you know any hard and fast rule but her idea sticks with me so here's the clip i have seen when anything becomes a fad it is like you know kyo i do this because i'm meditating or so those who are meditating they also try to show that i am like really you know i have arrived i have kind of become something greater than others so that also is a uh, harming uh, the very practice of meditation the meditators themselves are harming it in one way secondly like you said there are this myths that okay if you are uh, meditate then you know you have to sit for so there are the simple formulas that uh, i mean I, i don't know if there is a scientific study for that but uh, that is what i learned uh, with dr newton was that uh, one year of your life say if you are say 10 year old then you sit for 10 minutes and somebody like me who is 58 year old so i i sit for 58 minutes so because uh, those who are i guess older they need that much time for their mind to you know settle down there's too many things going on in the mind so if you just kind of uh, you know begin small just start you know like tasting it for me that's very important experimenting with your life tasting it for yourself and if you like the taste stay with it if you don't like there are other ways to you know empower yourself 
I highly recommend you to listen to the entire episode if you'd like to learn more from Chitra. I will have the link on sonar page of this episode. So I had a very, very deep impact and got more serious about getting into meditation after having this conversation. So thanks Chitra for that. Another most important habit of success is journaling and writing down thoughts on paper. Few guests of this show has recommended this habit of theirs and talked about how writing their goals and thoughts have transformed their life. Uh, and I also have found myself becoming more productive and achieving a lot more on the days when I set clear intention of the task I want to achieve in that particular day uh, by writing down on paper as compared to those when I don't journal. So my practice to journal is very, very simple. It takes me not more than 10 minutes combined both morning and just before going to bed in the evening. So I do journal uh, twice a day. One is uh, in the morning when I wake up and uh, another is uh, before going to bed. So uh, in the morning, I write down um, three things that I want to achieve in that particular day on the basis of priority. And I also write down three things I'm grateful for on that particular day. Writing down things I'm grateful for is to build upon the attitude of gratitude and celebrate the things that I have in my life rather than focusing on what I don't have. So this sets up a positive, more empowering tone for the day. And you you can also get a physical journal that's called 5 Minutes Journal or you can use free app by the same name so they have got some templates in that uh, journal uh, as i said uh, like three things that uh, you want to achieve in that particular day and uh, uh, three things that you are grateful for and i think they have also got a affirmation for that particular day and in the evening you are gonna write what are the three things that happened great to you or things that you could have done uh, things you could have done differently so uh, this is five minutes journal you can find the app or maybe order your hard copy and here's what jogesh chen who is an employability coach based in mumbai and is doing a nationwide employability road so this year said about journaling uh, and and this resonates with me so here's the clip which one daily habit do you believe has been game changer for you in your success journey? Uh, writing. So I spend almost uh, uh, 45 to 50 minutes daily uh, to reflect and to write. Now, uh, what I write is a couple of things. One is my uh, titles that I'm, you know, publishing very soon. Two, what are my three key wins of the day? of the previous day and uh, what are my three key learnings of the previous day uh, these three things i write daily and i keep that in my journal which i have and uh, reviewing that journal of uh, one month back two months back five months back at the end of the day ignites me again and uh, that is something is an habit I have been following for the last couple of months now. It's a must, must, must for everyone who is into the, any field, I must say. The third and last habit is reading to books or listening to audiobooks. Recently, I have started asking what is one online tool or app that has helped my guests in their self-help journey. And I have found many of them saying Audible which is an app for listening to books. This has made it easier for people to listen to books who otherwise don't have time to read. I have also found this app very, very helpful and I can listen to the books as many times I want to. And it is also a good companion while traveling or cooking or any other in-between spaces such as standing in queue or wherever you are, you just can plug in your ear plugs and start listening to books. So you can try it for free for one month and you can get a free book as well if you visit theinspiringtalk.com forward slash audible. That is A-U-D-I-B-L-E. Here's a small clip from Praveen Vadalkar, who is a CEO of a company called Techizer and TEDx speaker sharing how listening to audiobook has helped him. So which one daily habit do you believe 
has been game changer in your success journey i mean one daily habit is uh, listening to books and running together so if as i told you that almost every day i run i run minimum four times and maximum five times in a week but when i'm running i use audible book so when i'm running if i'm running for 8 kilometers i run 8 kilometers almost in one hour in my practice so i'm running so i'm listening to book also and if you are looking for picking some books or want on wide range of topic from entrepreneurship to spirituality or productivity and you want some suggestions or some kind of list to get started with and then uh you can check my reading list for 2018 where i have listed 60 books for this year so you can pick any of those as they are very well acclaimed books some of them i'm reading again this year because they they were so um uh, powerful and had amazing or deep uh impact on me and while others are new for me as well so i will have the link on sonor space of this episode for those books at the inspiring talk.com for us last 29 that's 29 so these are the three most common habits of my guest so far and i will share more about other ground breaking habits which might not be common to many guests but are very very important one and brought about results in their life So thank you so much for listening to this Thursday inspiration. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to share this with your friends by visiting theinspiringtalk.com/slash two nine twenty nine, and that's where you can access all resources I have mentioned in this episode. Thank you for listening. I'll catch you in the next. Now go out there and do something inspiring.